Hey, welcome back. So this video, we're gonna talk about the different modes for working with files. We've already seen two, the default, which is R, which we never actually manually typed, but it's a default value, which allows for reading from a file. And then W in the last video, which stands for write, and that worked to write to a file, but the problem was that it overwrote whatever used to be in there. Any existing contents are erased. So there are other modes. And actually, if we go to the built-in functions on the docs, click on open, there is a chart here that shows you there's quite a few. We've already seen R and W. Now we're gonna talk about a couple of others, just the commonly used ones. We're not gonna talk about things like binary mode, but if you are curious, just know you can come to the docs and not only is there a good explanation of open here, but it also goes into detail on the different modes, but I'll just highlight the commonly used ones. So first up, R, we've already seen that, doesn't allow you to write to the file, it's a default value. W, writes to a file, overrides or overwrites whatever was in the file before. Next is A, stands for append. So what append will do is allow us to add contents to the end of a file. It won't overwrite what used to be in there, it just keeps adding on to the end. So for example, we have this haiku.txt file already, and if I ran this code with W, it would overwrite it, but if I simply change it to the letter A, and I run the file, now we go back to haiku.txt, you can see that this was the existing contents right here, up until there, and then this was everything new. Oh no, I just messed it up. <laughs> there we go. This was everything new that we added in. And so it just appends to the end, and then this is where the cursor stops. So anything else that I add in, let's do one more. Um, let's do something simple. File.write, appending, later, save rerun, go back to our file, and it's on the same line because we are in append mode. And if we didn't want things to be on the same line like this, the better approach, so we just use the new line character, uh, but the better approach is to put it at the end here rather than putting it at the beginning of whatever we add next. So it doesn't really matter, but ideally we should have done this, put that new character there, run it, go back, Okay, so it added to the same line, but now our cursor is here. In, in Python, I mean, not the sublime cursor. So now if I did something else, like just a simple little happy face. One more time, it's on the new line. So this is append, and that works well, uh, but what if we wanted to go back and add something up to the top? What we could do is use seek, right? and do something like this, file.seek0, and then let's add another smiley face up top. And so what should happen, or what we think, well, okay, I'm kind of setting it up here, but what you might expect to happen is that our cursor would move up here, we add a happy face, but because it's append mode, it just adds it to the end. So we don't actually have control over where the cursor is. It's appending always to the end, no matter what. So definitely worth knowing there's a shortcoming to append mode. That brings us to our next and final mode, which is R plus, read and write to a file, and we can use a cursor. So R plus is really commonly used, in my experience at least, if you're working with existing files that already have stuff in them, and if you need to go and make changes or insert things somewhere else in the file, rather than just to the end. Okay, so let's test it out. I'm back in the same file as before. I have the W version we tried, I have the A to append. Now, down here, I've added R plus, I should note, I kind of messed up our file. I accidentally overwrote the existing contents in between recording the videos. So I just added a new line that says I was here first. And now, if we use R+, I'm just gonna leave it like this, added using R+, plus, um, and just a single line, open, same file, R+, plus, file.write. Let's see what happens. I run the code. Let's go look, and look what happened. Two things to note. The first is that it was added at the beginning of the file by default. I didn't have to specify to seek zero, so append is automatically going to, or by default, actually append only can add to the end of the file. But if we use R+, plus, it will start off with the cursor at the beginning, at zero. But we also can move it around. The second thing you should notice, though, is that we also overwrote what was here before. So you do need to be aware of the fact that if you if your cursor is here and you're adding text, it's not just gonna insert your text and then 
shift things over, it's going to overwrite. Okay, so if we go back now, I'm going to delete this and just say I was here first again. Go back here and we can add this at the beginning. Let's do a smiley face. Let's do, yep, smiley face. And then let's do file.seek to, I don't know, let's go to carrot position 10 and do a file.write and do a sad face. Okay, so we start at the beginning, add a happy face, move to 10, move the cursor over, and then write a sad face. We run the code, hop on back, and you can see here's our happy face and here's our sad face. Okay, so hopefully that shows you the behavior of these different file modes. So if you are only adding to the end of a file, that's all that you're doing, then use append. You don't have to worry about overwriting things, you're just always adding to the end. Obviously, if you're just reading, you don't even have to specify that. If you are solely writing and you want to overwrite the contents, then use W. And if you need to be able to update things or overwrite at will and move the cursor, then you can use R+. Oh, and one last thing. If we try and do file.write, here, let me do one more with R+, uh, to a non-existing file, like, I don't know, hello.txt, R+, and I just want to write hello in there, like this, if I run it, there isn't a hello.txt file. If I run it now, we actually get an error, file not found, no such file or directory, hello.txt. But when we used W, or if we use A actually, and I rerun that, you'll see it actually creates hello.txt for me. So that's one thing to be aware of. R plus is only gonna work with an existing file. The idea is that you're updating an existing file, that's what the plus really means, uh, versus A is going to, and W, will both make a new file if it doesn't find it. So just be aware of that. Oh, the joys of file modes. All right, so I just added a comment here that says, R plus will not create a file if it doesn't exist. And we are done with this video.